What is up guys, JT here. Just uh, got a little video to do for you. Just got back uh, this past weekend from Fright Night Film Fest in Louisville, Kentucky. And it turned out to be a pretty cool little convention. Me and uh, J-Dub and our buddy Logan went on Sunday. I mean, yeah, on Sunday. Went down Saturday night, spent the night down there and um, hit up some comic shops and stuff like that. Got some cool comics, but I'm not going to show them this video. I'll just wait and show them the next comic update. Um, but I just want to show the stuff that I got at the convention, uh, the autographs and the DVDs, and a few of these DVDs I got, um, prior to the convention, so, uh, not all these are convention buys, just a few, but it's been a while since I've done a DVD update, so I figured, you know, why not, but first I'm going to go ahead and show the autographs that I got at, uh, Fright Night Film Fest, and the first one I have up here is Susan Backline, I think is how you say her name. This is Chrissy from Jaws. And she wrote to Josh, uh, then her name, and then Chrissy Jaws. And this was the coolest print she had at her table. I thought I always loved this picture. You just don't know what's going on under the, under the water there, you know. Jaws is just having his way with her. And I'm not going to get autographed DVDs anymore probably from conventions because I'm running out of room to put stuff like that to showcase it. So I'm, I'm going to start getting these prints like this and uh, hanging them up on the wall. 8x10s I think is what these are. Really cool though. She was a super nice lady. Really cool. I have pics up on my Facebook uh, if any of you guys want to check them out. And like I mentioned in the previous video of the review of this, I said I was going to get Linda Blair's autograph and I did. Super nice lady. Linda Blair was awesome. Still looking great um, as ever. And she wrote to Josh, Sweet Dreams, Linda Blair. And I chatted with her just for a little bit about uh, the movie Night Patrol. And uh, she was telling me that it had a, a big following. It seemed to in these parts. A lot of people asked, asked her about it or whatever. Um, but this is super cool. This is definitely going up on the, uh, the old shelf with the rest of the autographed items I own. Now let's go ahead and get into the DVDs. Like I said, some, not all these are convention buys, just stuff I picked up. First one up here is Batman and Robin, and uh, this is the 1940s black and white uh, episodes. I think these are like, kind of like TV episodes, or, or uh, they call them serials or something like that, I don't know. But I used to watch these when I was a kid. I had a VHS of these back in the day, and this is the reason I wanted these. Super cool. I haven't got to check these out yet um, since I got them, but I'll probably do that in a bit. And this next one, Batman Forever. Um, didn't own this one. You know, needed it for the Batman collection. I really, I really like this one. Jim Carrey did an awesome job, and so did Tommy Lee Jones. And has Nicole Kidman in there. You know, that, uh, that's always a plus for me. Anyways, I, I dig Nicole Kidman. And uh, first uh, uh, horror DVD here in the collection or the update is uh, the Haunted. Lantern. Now, this is a Asian pulp cinema release. Pretty cool little movie there. Just uh, watched this a little bit ago. Some good Asian ghost gore horror. Um, pretty cool DVD release too. It's got a lot of uh, artwork and whatnot in there for it. Well, I think this is the only Asian pulp cinema release that I have now. Yeah, they dig some Asian horror. Next up, I haven't got to see this one yet. It looks really cool. The cover just grabbed me as soon as I seen it. And this is the night that Evelyn came out of the grave. And I think this is an Italian movie, uh, maybe a giallo, uh, giallo ghost. Uh, not a ghost, but like a giallo, uh, some kind of Italian movie. I don't know. It says this film contains nudity and violent situations. <laughs> looks like some cool... Uh, stuff on going on on the back on the back on here. Uh, watch the trailer for this. It looked cool, but that cover is awesome Looks like Dan Aykroyd's head there kind of but uh, can't wait to check this out. It looks looks entertaining And uh, the next up one of the only uh, I think one of the only uh, Peter Benchley movie adaptation uh, Films that I didn't own I think it, and this is the deep with uh, Nick Nolte and Robert Shaw and uh some, some chick, I don't know where she was from, but uh, this isn't the original cover for this movie. I remember seeing the original cover all the time, and uh, I'm a huge fan of Peter Benchley's books. Like, I, I like to read his books a lot, and you know, of course, Jaws is one of my faves, so I figured I would um, check this out. It may, I don't know, may go either way, good or bad, who knows. 
Next up is Maximum Overdrive. Didn't own this one. Um, this is just one that I watched all the time as a kid. You know, rocking ACDC soundtrack. Emilio Estevez, Big Trucks, great movie. Stephen King, just a, a great time. Uh, can't, re can't wait to rewatch this. Uh, it's been a, been a while. Next up is The Big Alligator River with Barbara Bach. Great movie. Um, I'm a huge fan of cheesy uh, killer uh, animal movies, and this you know this didn't disappoint. Huge rubber alligator. I need to get my hands on Crocodile from uh, I think it was from the '80s a movie called Crocodile. That it's like a giant alligator or giant. I mean a giant rubber crocodile movie. I really want to see that one, but this came out a year before Alligator in the United States, which is my one of my favorite movies of all time. So, uh, you know, I had to check this out. Just a really good fun time. Next up here we have Home Sweet Home. Uh, can't say that I enjoyed this as much as I thought I would. The kills were kind of lame. I mean, it was a it was a cool slasher for what it was. You know, holiday uh, Thanksgiving slasher. But that's about all I can say about a cool cover art. The movie was kind of let down though. And uh, next up we have The Island, another Peter Benchley movie adapt, uh, adapted from a book. And I have the book, and the book of this is awesome, and the movie's awesome too. I really enjoyed it. It has Michael Caine in it. And I love that cover. I remember seeing this uh, in the video store back in the day all the time, but I never did rent it. And uh, whenever I started tracking down all these movies that I used to see, this was one of the main covers. And whenever I seen this at the convention, I was like, I gotta get that. Been want to see that forever, and it, it was really good. It didn't disappoint. Uh, I recommend that in the book, the movie and the book. And last but not least, at the VCI table, um, VCI Entertainment, which used to be a VHS company, I do believe, or back in biz, and they're doing DVD releases now. I picked up Beyond Atlantis. This is a fun '70s uh, cheese fest movie with uh, Sid Hag in it. Um, I used to have this on VHS, and the VHS was like going for quite a bit of money back then. But I traded it. Told my buddies this is directed by Eddie Romero. Um, while I seen this at the table for five bucks, I was like, man, I got to get that back. So you know, uh, not to pass up on that, I had to get that. And I love this. Pretty much the same cover art from the VHS too. So uh, VCI, great job, good job, guys. Uh, the disc is in my player upstairs, so just gonna show you the disc art. But that's about it, guys. That's all my pickups for this time. I should have some more coming up soon. You know, JT, he. Uh, he likes to do stuff like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.